Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Lemkin Pack by ITS and Alex Norger on Farming Simulator 22. is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Fox Farm map for this ooh, uh, test review of these cultivators. Uh, and there is a whack of them in this um, pack. Um, I'll briefly touch on all of them. I'm not going to torture you through uh, details of each and every one of them, but I will try to touch on the important bits. Uh, slot counts vary from three slots up to 12 slots each. There is, um, well, the easiest way to show you is if we go into mods and DLCs, as I like to do when there is a ton of mods in a, a mod pack. We'll go through them here. We have uh, two subsoilers, um, 100 and 150 horsepower, three and four slots, seven mile per hour working speed. We have uh, nameplate options and color options. Like so. Uh, $500, ooh, color options is expensive, by the way. Then we go into power harrows. Um, so subsoilers, now we have power harrows. We have a number of them. We have, uh, yeah, lots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six power harrows ranging from uh, four meters at 200 horsepower. We have two of them. So the drive laner, I'll show you how that works. It's kind of um, a head scratcher for me. Uh, use after the plow and power harrows for use after plow. Front width 0.7 is, I don't, maybe they're supposed to, no, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure you gotta mount these on the back. That's how they go. Um, well, curious. Anyways, uh, all the way up to thirty-eight thousand dollars for a two hundred and eighty horsepower, six meter working width. Um, right. So let's uh, let's just take a look at this one. We have standard configuration. We have a three-point PTO. So a lot of these have a three-point link on the back that you can put another implement back there if you wish cage roller we have various roller types that's just a visual a, a, a visual aesthetic track loosener you can put those on again it doesn't really do anything ridge markers a lot of them have a ridge marker option for those of you who like to use the ridge marker then we have uh, some custom colors and then uh, 500 bucks if I picked the Lemkin or Rabe didn't I um, $500 design color is the PTO shaft on this one. And of course, rim color. Uh, let's make that, oh, let's make that pink. The roller, actually. So that's the options, pretty much the options on, yeah, all of, all of the power heroes. I don't think there's any differences. Yeah, they're all the same, just different horsepower rating and one uh, with and without drive liner. Moving on to cultivators. And we have a number of them ranging from three meters at 120 horsepower, uh, three meters, three, three, two, three meter. Why we have two, three meter cultivators I don't know um, and then we have a six meet two six meters no actually we have four six meter cultivators uh, lots of cultivators one has a drive liner and as you can see it has a seeding hoses option also a light medium ground medium ground a medium heavy ground option <sighs> I haven't noticed any difference between any of them. They all, they're all shallow cultivators. This is all just visual role play type stuff. We have 
Sintrack seed pipes and standard seed pipes. So if you want to attach a seeder to the back of this with a three point link, there's your drive liner wheels at the back, those floaty things, those red ones. The design color, I believe, is, yeah, those. Right, so let's show you the subsoiler. Now this is the only one, this is a 100 horsepower tractor. It is a 100 horsepower implement. L1, we have lower and raise. We have raise hydraulic hitch. Curious things here. Looks like um, these options for L1 and right stick are on everything. Whether the implement has it, uh, uh, whether they work it or not. I, these subsoilers have a three point hitch on them. So it's perhaps, let me, let me see if I can, let's do it this way. These both are the same. R1 and right stick up and down, left and right, left and R, R1 and right stick, left and right. You can adjust the depth of those but it doesn't actually do anything it's just something for you to play with it's still only if i drop that down subsoils now it doesn't have a create um field option so i don't believe it acts as a plow but we will try that um by the way the workers we're fine with all of them. There is no worker issues. I'm not going to show it because it's there's just too many, and I don't think anybody's interested in seeing me physically test out each and every one of these at nauseum. So I am going to try. So you can show you. You can hook two of these up together if you want. If that's what floats your boat. Um, still, uh. There we go. Okay, so I'm I am <clears throat> I am um, activated on the first subsoiler. So L1 and right stick, left and right. I can adjust the height and tilt of what's attached to it with my right stick. R1, R1, left and right. That's that one up and down, in and out. So that's what those are. Interestingly enough, I thought that what might that's what might be it. So, when you're lowering it down and you have something attached to the back, you can tilt or adjust that uh, as as needed. There, um, and you can uh, you can you can double you can double cultivate or this is subsoiling with a cultivated state right so now moving on to the power heroes uh, let's do the one with the drive line they're all the same so we will show you the one this one here they fold up at least the bigger ones the smallest one doesn't There's no lights or anything, so that's how you get it folded up like that. If you have that um, three-point link again on the back, you can hook whatever you want up to it. It's up to you. Right, so um, we can raise and lower the power hero, just as any power hero normally would. Ridge markers, D-pad, left and right, up, up, left, up, left and right, just up on your D-pad. Right stick right and left. Uh, actually, L1 and right stick up and down. It doesn't show you that, but that's where you get to adjust that. Three point link left and right possibly is an adjustment with whatever is attached to it. This R1 and right stick up and down. Up and down moves that back part there and left and right. Left and right is that 
little piece there down there you see that moving underneath in between in front of the, the back roller thing and L1 and R1 and left stick up and down is see that moving I can adjust the height basically the uh, it's hard to it's hard to see that there we go maybe right here right see I can move the whole thing up or down now see the the the, uh, the lane the drive lane markers they're behind and <laughs> so uh, we got control group group zircon sounds like some kind of alien sci-fi game or something zircon press triangle and you got the drive laner if you have drive lit drive the drive laner option one option that's what you have so l1 and r1 and right stick left and right is up and down oddly enough forward and back and then the left stick uh, you can make it as narrow as that or as wide as that now the reason I say this is odd because uh, uh, now it's not even oh there we go now we're marking it marks it but it yeah I I, I understand the concept of what it is for it should be marking on the ground so you can follow it I don't know uh, it just seems to be an odd option that I perhaps I'm not perhaps I'm just not using it properly perhaps someone maybe it's just something in real life that doesn't really translate to uh, farming simulator I I don't know um, but anyways um, so there's a whole whack of Yeah, power harrows, power harrow, power harrow, power power harrow, till the cows come home. And then we have our cultivators. They're all shallow. Every single one of them, except for the subsoilers, leave the stubble tillage. They're all shallow stubble tillage type. So we have, if I keep bouncing in and out here, we have the... Uh, the fully lifted from the back three of those and then we have the ones with the wheels on the back with the two two point link and the um, yeah so um, let's let's hop in to this one here and show you this one uh, again this no that one doesn't fold this one folds oh it's a bit heavy all right it's a bit big for that tractor let's uh, let's use this one just show it show you unfolding it in case you're still watching <laughs> I don't blame you if you're not gonna finish watching this uh, video these I there's just so much of the same stuff really unless I know they're different but they're same only different there we go unfolding we have uh, R1 and right stick we can adjust the visual depth not the actual cultivating depth because it's a shallow cultivator no matter what you pick or do and um, L1 and R1, I don't know what that does. I think maybe it's an option for for um, the one that has the three-point link in it. Option. But, um, yeah, lower it down and you drive, drive forward and it cultivates. That's really all there is to it. Um, right. And then, uh, like I said, we have the ones that have uh, let's see which one let's pick this one shall we uh, this also folds up folds down but it is it's the three point it's the trail so it's not as heavy on the back um, so we have uh, select the adjustment to do, do we can raise and 
with just a bunch of little adjustment stuff drive liner yes drive liner where is it uh, it's oh there it is it's in the ground uh, oh there we go and if we look w weird thing about this yeah this one actually kind of works because you have to lower it far enough uh, there we go L1 and right stick you have to lower it far enough that when it actually does but it doesn't do anything you can s because the yeah you see what I mean yeah weird anyways um yeah that's I don't know what else to say it's it's a pack of um, two subsoilers and a whole bunch of stubble tillage cultivators of various or a few widths and multiple designs with three point link on the back. But there you go. The Lemkin pack by ITS and Alex Nord Norgler on Farming Simulator 22. I'm sure a lot of work was put into these packs. So someone out there, I'm sure, is excited to be using all these different things. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now.